All right, let's talk about some more geometric sequence examples. I'm going to go through and do the evens, I think, and then put the answer key on the blog just so the video is not too long. Um, so the first set of problems here, find the common ratio of each geometric sequence, then find the next three terms. So remember that common ratio is that R value. Okay? And we can find R by taking that second term and dividing it by the first if you're having a hard time finding that pattern in your head. So if we take 100 and divide it by 10, we're going to get 10. So the common ratio is 10. So to find the next three terms, we're going to take 10 and multiply it by 10, 10,000, so five zeros. And then we're going to take that and multiply it by 10. Then we're going to take that and multiply it by 10 to get those next three numbers. And number four, our common ratio is going to be negative because we keep changing signs. And it's going to be negative 5. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Times the negative 5 is 100. Times the negative 5 is the negative 500. So if we take negative 500 and multiply it by negative 5, we get 2,500. Multiply it by negative 5, negative 12,500. Multiply that by negative 5, 62,500. Okay, just building a sequence, being able to find that pattern. Look at number 6. So the first term of a geometric sequence is negative 3. So I'm going to break everything down that I see and write it. So the first term, so a sub 1, is a negative 3. And the common ratio is 2. And they want us to find the 8th term. So a sub 8. So the first thing I'm going to write down is my explicit equation. I know my explicit equation is a sub n is equal to my first term times r raised to the n minus 1. That is my explicit equation, my explicit formula. So if I want to find the eighth term, I'm going to rewrite this explicit equation, but in that n spot, I'm going to substitute in an 8. I can type that into my calculator, and we should get negative 384. Okay. All right, another example here. What is the fifth term of the geometric sequence? So now we've been given a list. So my first term is going to be the first thing I see in my sequence. That's nine. My common ratio, remember, that's what I'm multiplying by every time. It's going to be 3. So I'm going to write this explicit equation first. a sub n is equal to my first term times my common ratio raised to the n minus 1. They want to know the fifth term. So to find the fifth term, that's a sub 5. So I'm going to substitute in a 5 in for the n spot. So 9 times 3 raised to the 5 minus 1 power. So I get 729 when I put that into my calculator. Um, we can use a table. You won't see this. Maybe you'll see it on an ESC or a final, but not on your quiz um, or the practice you're turning in. But just so you're aware, this is your N, this is your term number, and this is A sub N. So what we're looking for here, we can still find our common ratio by what we're multiplying. 
So I'm going to say that my ratio is R equals 9.60 divided by 8. And I'm going to get 1.2. My first term is year one, so that's $8. And I can write an explicit equation from that. A sub n is equal to my first term times my ratio raised to the n minus one. So if I'm finding the sixth term, I can still substitute that six in for the n spot. So eight times 1.2 raised to the n minus one, I get 19.91, which is that wage in year six. You have some other practice problems just to build confidence, you know, for your quiz and for future assessments. Um, on this page, this is also some practice um, where the key will be on the blog. On the back of this page, so page 36, you can eliminate questions 21 through 26 if you're looking to practice. You can eliminate those. And page 37, that's what you're working on to submit to me so I can give you some feedback and make sure we understand geometric sequences. Happy studying.